Peace, love, blessings, and good vibes. All right, I'm back with another video, another tarot card reading video, as a matter of fact. And this time, uh, I'm going to be doing a reading for R&B singer Omarion. Omarion was um, a member of the group back in the day, B2K. And uh, B2K disbanded, and then they got back together again for the Millennium Tour and uh, earlier this year. And uh, they made great strides. And then all of a sudden, we hear about Omarion's baby mama, April Jones. They broke up with each other. And she started dating his uh, childhood friend and <laughs> band member, um, Lil Fizz. So um, <laughs> Omarion did a video with Vlad TV, with DJ Vlad, and he seemed you know, moisturized and unbothered by the whole situation. So, uh, recently, Omarion announced that the Millennium Tour would continue, and it would go on, but without B2K. And, um, I believe Lil Bow Wow, singer Sammy, I think they're part of the, uh, tour as well, um, if I'm wrong about Sammy, correct me on that. Um, but yeah, so, so far, uh, that's the latest. So B2K is not on the, uh, 2020 Millennium Tour. And, uh, he announced this, uh, change on Lil Fizz's birthday. But, uh, I guess Omarion is still moisturized and unbothered. And I guess he said, happy birthday, nigga. So, yeah, they're not going to be on the tour with Omarion. Lil Fizz will not be on that tour. So, we're going to get into uh, Omarion's reading. Um, and right now, we're going to look at his overall energy. All right? So, let's go. What is the overall energy piece for Omarion? Okay, now we want it to come out. Ooh. So, we have cleansing body and spirit. Cleansing body and spirit in reverse. All right? Let's see. I don't know. Like, all right. Are there any other messages for Omarion over all energy? Are there any more messages concerning Omarion's overall energy. Any more messages for Omarion's overall energy? Let's see. Any more messages for Omarion's overall energy? All right. And they're saying no. So let's go with this one. So let's talk about this card that came out in reverse. Cleansing body and spirit. All right. So right now, somebody needs a cleansing of body, mind, soul, and spirit. Um, right now, overall energy or the energy or the current energy that Omarion is in right now is that he needs to cleanse his mind, body, spirit, soul. Doing that, he can do that with a cleansing bath. He can do it by meditating. But right now, he's kind of in a state. And this is according to the card that came that came out. Right now, um, this card is telling me that it came out in reverse. So it's telling me that Omarion is in a state of, I don't want to say a state of confusion, but he's probably hurt, but he's not letting on like he's hurt. Because like in, in any situation dealing with that, um, you know, they have, I believe, two children together. He has two children by April. So... Yeah, that's going to, like, do something to you. You're going to feel some type of way when your homeboy from childhood, you know, you know, like, pulls a stunt like this, you know what I'm saying, and ends up with your baby mama. So, yeah, you know, I know Marion is probably feeling some type of way, but he's not sharing that with the public. And, and he doesn't have to because this is something that's personal. So he's probably going through this personal issue and this personal thing that he's dealing with. So right now, what it's telling me is that spirit is saying that he needs to cleanse his mind, body, and soul. And, you know, eventually, uh, he will get past this situation. So overall, uh, and Rihanna, Rihanna got the same card too, but, um, sun and stars, 
right now. So right now, he just needs to rely on a higher energy and a higher power, all right, to help him get through this. So, all right, that's concerning his overall energy. And, oh, yeah, I forgot to do um, advice on the last video. So I'm, right now, Spirit is leading me to also do some advice, pull some advice cards for um, Omarion. But right now, let's get into the reading itself all right what are the current messages for omarion omarion may not even come across this video he may not even see this video but spirit has a way of getting messages across you know to the ones who need it all right so what are the main messages or what are message what are the messages that omarion needs to know right now all right, one more shuffle. All right. So what are the messages that Omarion needs to know? Okay. What are the messages that Omarion needs to know? Yeah, keep your head up, bruh. Which I'm quite sure he's doing. All right. So we have judgment. Hmm. All right. Are there any other messages that Omarion needs to know? Are there any other messages that Omarion needs to know? Let's see. Are there any other messages for Marion? Right? One more. All right, I'm going to take those. Get this one. Son of Swords. Son of Swords. All right, so let's talk about this judgment card. Now, someone is being judged in the situation. So, so this judgment card talks about forgiveness. So the judgment card... Major Arcana card, or one of the Major Arcana cards. So right now, it's forgiveness. And I know, I know, that's hard to do. That is hard to do, especially, you know, concerning this situation that Omarion has been faced with and that he's been placed with. So forgiveness is, uh, is coming out strong. So Spirit is telling Omarion that he needs to forgive and move on. Um, and the son of swords talks about being forceful. It talks about being determined. So let's get some clarification on that son of swords. On that son of swords card. Clarification for the son of swords, please. Need clarification for the son of swords, please. Clarification. For the Son of Swords. Alright, please give me clarification. They wanted to pop up. Okay, I'll take it. There's only one card, but okay. So these are the cards that came out. Uh, hmm. So, clarifying this forceful and determination card, the clarifying the uh, Son of Swords, we have Father of Wands, the Sun card, which represents happiness. So, there's going to be some happiness and some light at the end of the tunnel. Ace of Wands. Hmm. Okay. And... We have the five, six, seven, eight of pentacles. So clarifying the son of sword, which talks about being determined and determination. Father of Wands is that creative and charismatic. And of course, happiness with the sun card. Ace of Wands, um, yeah, Ace of Wands. We're dealing with expansion and insight 
and being um, an inspiration, expansion and inspiration. Okay. And with the eight of pentacles, hmm, we're talking about being skilled at something. So, let me please let me piece this storyline together. So, with the Father of Wands or, you, or, or the King of Wands, which in regular tarot deck, it's the King of Wands. It's talking about Being creative, Amari well, must be an Aquarius, because this reading is like all oh, crazy when I'm trying to get clarification for the Son of Swords. So, so right now, he's in a position where he's being creative, because I guess he's focused on this Millennium Tour. Right? So he's thinking of um, with this Ace of Wands. He's in a good place. He has inspiration. Because he has the skill with this Nine of Pentacles to make things happen. Especially concerning the tour. And so he's going to find happiness again. He's going to find his happiness again with this Sun card. Okay. Now, if you are a tarot reader and you come across this video, feel free to share your interpretation as well with these cards. All right. So let's go ahead and pull some advice for Omarion. All right. Woo. Okay. But we do know judgment. We do know that forgiveness if he hasn't forgiven yet or it's on the horizon or whatever, because he needs to forgive and move on, you know, that is what spirit is saying. I know that's hard to do, hard to do. So we've got, um, father of swords being fair and analytical, or in other words, the king of swords. All right. So is there any more advice for Marion, please? And the wise old owl saying being fair and analytical. So I guess he has to be fair about the situation. Ah, that's it. Okay. Being fair and analytical concerning this millennium tour because of that his emotions play a part and get involved. But I can understand that. So, it's something about, because it's being fair and analytical. So, let's see, are there any more? Or is there any more advice for, I've got to start remembering to do advice, too. Do the advice cards. I forget to do that part of it. Sorry. All right. But on this one, I was led to do it. So, is there any more advice for Omarion? <laughs> I'll take this one. Hmm. Which is the nine of pentacles. It's a happy, healthy home. And with the father of swords, fair and legal. So... Although he's not with his baby mom anymore at this time, you never know how things will play out and how things will turn around because they may end up back together again. Who knows? I don't know. But anyway, they do have children together. So Omarion's advice is to be fair and analytical within the situation because there are children involved and also in order to have a happy home. In other words, um, 
since the children are the main focus and the main priority, or they should be the main focus and the main priority, he has to be fair in the situation and analytical. And so does April. So this may be coming from April's point of view or April's side or April's energy. She has to be fair and analytical. And um, they're going to have to keep in contact with each other because uh, they are bonded for life with each other because of the children. They don't have to be together or anything like that, but they do have a, a bond. They do share children together. So that's the advice. Um, Nine of Pentacles, Father of Swords or King of Swords, being fair and analytical, using a... Uh, a clear, having a clear head and a clear mind, you know, about the situation because despite of what happened, they still have to co-parent with each other. All right. So that's the message that I got. That's the advice that I got for Omarion. Um, stick around. Stay tuned. I'm going to do uh, a reading for her. One of my favorite singers right now that's out is her. Love her. All right. So stick around and stay tuned for that. So until next time, peace, love, blessings, and good vibes. And thank you for watching.